Well, hey there, folks, and welcome to another episode of the BRO Reloading Bench. This is actually going to be a BRO quick tip. A lot of you guys have picked up the Harbor Freight tumblers, single and double drum tumblers. I've had them for about five months now, and I've, uh, I've picked up three of them, still got two, and I've got a lot of mixed feelings about it. Some good points, some bad points. We're going to touch on all of them just as quick as we can. Y'all stand by. Okay, folks, well, let me tell you something right out of the gate that Harbor Freight is no sponsor of the Bubba Roundtree Outdoors channel. Whenever I go to Harbor Freight, I don't get any breaks. I've got to buy the stuff just like y'all do. So I try to find the deals and all that. Every one, every one of these uh, tumblers that I picked up, we managed to find a coupon or get a, a discount. I am in that buyer's club that those guys have because I shop enough with Harbor Freight to where it's worth, worth it for me to get into that, uh, that special buyer's club that they have. But, uh, but anyway the uh are the benefits with this thing worth it well i think they are is is many buckshot pellets as i go through and every pellet is handled multiple times the the difference that we can get from the raw pellets to the finished pellets after a, a 10 or 12 hour tumble in the rock tumbler is uh is such a big improvement that even with me, with uh, the way the machines act up sometimes, has been worth it. So boys, I'm going to try to run this down as quick as I can. The first machine that I picked up was back first week, first couple of days of November in 2020. And whenever I brought it home, it it was loud. It, it sounded uh, louder than the ones I had seen demonstrated on YouTube and stuff like that. But I just went ahead and went on about my business and all that stuff. Learned a lot of things, and within, within a couple of weeks the machine was burnt up it wouldn't even start and I realized when I picked up I went right back the next week I had already had a second machine and uh, and was having no issues with the second machine and it sounded when I when I started up the second machine that I picked up it sounded so much different than the first one the first one was growling like a darn caged lion uh, whenever I got it right out of the box. So the machine was bad right out of the box and within a couple of weeks it had burned up. That doesn't look good on the Chicago Tools or Chicago Electric or Harbor Freight as far as I'm concerned. Like I said, they're no sponsor of this channel. I gotta buy them just like y'all do. So, so far, what the, uh, the actual numbers is I've got two that are still running. The second one I picked up is running great and is showing no signs of issues. The new one that I just picked up uh, five or six weeks ago is already growling uh, up a storm. I'm going to let y'all listen to what the two sound like here in just a minute to see what I'm talking about. And the spindle was bent on the one that I picked up. I'm going to have to get it replaced. The uh, Harbor Freight runs out of them so fast, but, uh, but I'm going to have to get this other one replaced within the 90-day warranty period. I hope that y'all can hear the audio. I'm out here, no drums on these. I've got two units left. I want y'all to hear what they what these units sound like. First of all, this is the oldest unit. This one here has been here since the early November. I hope y'all can hear that. You hear how quiet that is? Now, listen to this one, if it'll start. It sounds different, but look also, that spindle wobbles some. Quite honestly, it sounded a lot worse before I completely pulled this machine down and put synthetic grease and all the fittings and all these Teflon bushings. That spindle is rolling perfectly straight. No wobble. 
This machine runs like a dream and has since November. This one with the noise that it's making now, I don't suspect it's even going to make it through the warranty time. Okay, boys, pros and cons. Do I, I, The finished product that comes out of these machines is such a vast difference that I'm sold on it just because of the improvement that it makes on the pellets. The, the roughest pellets that I mold come out of the Do-It Slingshot mold. I'm going to show some overlays here of before and after in these uh, out of the, the tumbler, right out of the mold and then into the tumbler. And the, uh, the next, some of the next roughest pellets that we deal with are out of the Lee molds. There's a lot of wings and, and sharp edges that come off of those stringers of three with the Lee uh, buckshot molds. And I'm going to do some overlays here to where you guys can see the difference in before and after with the lee shot. Same with the sharpshooter molds. Now, sharpshooter are not available unless you find guys that are selling them uh, after the fact. But um, I'm going to show you some before and after with the sharpshooter pellets that I thought come out really look nice right out of the mold. But look at the difference that, they, that it makes in these really nice round pellets after they've gone through an eight or 12 eight to 12 hour tumble in the uh in the rock tumbler now uh some some of the cons that you can run into here stand by i have learned that if you've got pellets coming out looking like this smoky dusty the pellets were still wet damp or humid whenever you put them into the drum the best way to avoid this from happening is to put, an air, put a hair dryer to them, boys. Uh, heat them up really good. Make sure that when you pick them up, they're warm and bone dry whenever you pick them up. Also, take your drums and hit them with the hair dryer. Heat them up. Make sure there's no moisture in there. Get all that humidity out of there. Second very important point, you don't want to put uh, less than a half a drum. You want at least half a drum of pellets to tumble Three quarters of a drum is best as far as uh, performing for me or polishing up the pellets that I'm used to dealing with. Three quarters of a drum is best. Only put one drum on your double um, on your double tumbler whenever you uh, have got three quarters of a drum of pellets, half to three quarters of a drum of pellets, so you don't overload your machine. I'm going to be showing a lot of pictures and overlays and all that here, boys, so you see what I'm talking about here. But uh, you keep the moisture out, your pellets are going to come out uh, looking like magnetite. They're going to really be pretty whenever they come out. And if you, uh, if you keep ha at least half a drum or a little more than half a drum and use one drum at a time, you can extend the life of these machines. Now, you just it may take you several days. Like me, I make big uh, batches of buckshot whenever I go through it. The boys at the club, there's a lot of them over there. And here this past season, they shot a lot of buckshot. They shot me out of it. And so I'm trying to get caught back up now. But do I think the pros outweigh the cons with the Harbor Freight Rock Tumbler? Absolutely, I do. They, uh, it, it's worth it to me because of the difference that it makes in the pellets, and it definitely improves performance. I appreciate you guys coming along with me on this one, boys. I hope it helped you out. There will be a lot more coming up very, very soon. Bye-bye.